Hi everyone, this is Ellie coming to you from Australia, also known as The Future. Hello to everyone seeing me for the first time and hello and welcome back to all of my wonderful subscribers. I'm still on the unreadable blitz questions. So I didn't print them out any bigger, instead I'm practicing my glass wearing. So my glass is wearing. So let's get on to the very next question. Carol has asked, she says, hi Ellie, exclamation point. Eric stated that money was never a problem. Hmm. <laughs> Did he now? They could always go to Russia. Oh, that's right. He did too. Will uh, the Don's foreign money sources be revealed? Uh, also, was Pompeo picking up cash on his last world tour? Will Donny file for bankruptcy again? Okay, I'm not going to cover the Pompeo bit because I did a reading on Pompeo in the last video. Instead, um, let me take a look at the questions about um, Donald and his financial cash dealings. So will his financial ties be identified? And what was the rest of it? Oh, and will he file for bankruptcy? Two questions. So let's ask about those foreign dealings. Will they be identified? I think they already have been identified. So we've got the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles and the Sun. Okay. So this is, uh, depending on what you know, and this would be... Um, include departing the current shores and moving on. You've then got pondering your options and balancing time and resources. And so when I look at these two cards together, doorbell, <laughs> when I'm looking at these two cards together, what I'm seeing is this departure element, um, which is about uh, um, it's about having emotional choices, but also it all depends on what your emotion is about, you see. And um, Donald's emotion is all about greed. So I can, in, I can interpret this as being about uh, facing a choice when it comes to his first love, which is that of, of money. And um, having to depart and go somewhere new. Now, this is the foreign dealing. It's a very cryptic way of putting it, but it's the foreign dealings element to be able to balance his resources. And that will be exposed because this is an exposure card. So the answer to that question is yes. I think to a degree it already is being exposed or has been exposed. It's just that the news cycle is so full of stuff that we often forget half of the things that we've been told. Um, because the very next day... There's um, just more news about something else. So is Donald going to file for bankruptcy again? Gee, I wonder. It's not like he's afraid of doing it, is he? <laughs> is, he? <laughs> is he going to file from ba for bankruptcy again? <laughs> it's his calling. <laughs> so I would say yes is the answer. So judgment... Um, the Six of uh, Cups in Reverse. Mm. And then the Three of Swords. Okay. So I think, yes, it's his calling. So this is, you know, this is what he does, is he files for bankruptcy. We've also got this um, living in the past childishness effort, effort from him. So this is all about um, having problems... It's sort of a childishness element, just to, to, to keep it quick. And then um, the Three of Swords in Reverse is about uh, having a quick recovery or hiding the true extent of the pain. So basically, the hiding the true extent is, you know, having to only pay 
10 cents in the dollar due to bankruptcy. This is the childish response that he, he does. It's just part of his calling to do so. I think that basically what the cards are saying that he's he's going to do what he's always done because he never faces up to anything like an adult. And um, he, it will appear to be something that he wears as a badge, but actually every time he has to file bankruptcy, there's an element of um, embarrassment that he feels as well. He doesn't show it, but it causes him pain to know that he is a failure. And I think the answer is yes. But let's just take a look at uh, women's rights. And this is the Roe versus Wade question, I think. The Supreme Court recently um, surprised everyone. The news pundits were saying that they were going to find in favour of some state um, legislation to roll back Roe versus Wade, but in fact they turned that down, didn't they? So let's just see. I'm going to just ask the question of women's rights over their own bodies. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, and um, the Eight of Wands in reverse. I think that the struggle is going to continue um, for the foreseeable future. I don't, this is not actually a setback. What it's saying is there's more struggle to come. We've got this feeling like um, um, being trapped in a gilded cage element of the nine of pentacles in reverse and um, looking for a way out. Okay, we then have an upsetting message coming here and there's also gender confusion which normally in this card, I overlook that definition because it's not relevant, but I think in this particular instance it is. And then we have an unforeseen difficult event and it relates to family or business. What, what this says here is this is a, a really sort of mixed up message, not a mixed up, a mixed up relationship between men and women um, relating to this particular topic. You've got um, women feeling trapped within their own circumstances and having others dictate. We then have this gender confusion element, which is men wanting to, certain men, not all men, but certain men wanting to control something that's uncontrollable, which is another person's body. And then we have the unexpected um, turn of events and problems with family. And I think that um, this is the question of, um, of family rights. So I think that it's it just denotes more struggles to come. I don't think it says whether or not things are going to go backwards or forwards, just that it's an ongoing struggle that has to take place in the foreseeable future. I think basically the message is that it's too early to be able to give a definitive on that particular question and that there needs to be more, um, more turmoil, more struggle before a definitive result is apparent. I did a full reading on this um, not that long ago and what I what the card said was that there was going to be change um, and I didn't get from that that it was going to be abolished but that it was going to be revised but that there was actually going to be changes made to the filibuster but let me just that was gosh maybe six months ago nearly that I did that reading so let's take a look and see if anything's changed the judgment cards come up again. Just comes up a lot today, doesn't it? Oh, that's interesting. And then we've also got the um, Six of Cups in reverse again. There's something interesting happening here. We've got this Forgiveness and Finding Your Calling card here. 
And then we have this childishness or being stuck in the past or memories of the past. And then we have this withdrawal, timeout, and resting the mind. I think that um, the telling card is the memories of the past. And I think that what this is, what this spread is saying is that we mustn't forget that part of the reason why Donald's uh, ambitions as president weren't realized so many of them weren't realized was because of the filibuster because democrats were able to use the filibuster there's um there's a message here there's a plan there's a plan i wouldn't say that it's a it's not that the democrats are in control and they have this plan i don't think that's it there's a divine plan that takes into account that the filibuster has served its purpose in the past okay and that we mustn't forget mustn't forget the past as well as the future so let's put down another three and ask that they be easier to explain <laughs> So there's the chariot, hmm. the four of wands and the world in reverse. I think it has helped to clarify. Okay, so this is about determination and uh, motivation to move forward. Okay, we also have a celebration, which is a, a positive sort of outcome, but one that's mediocre as well. So it's a mediocre accomplishment. When it comes to the filibuster, there is, a t there is a determination to act, which appears here in the chariot. It's going to be a positive thing, but it's not going to make everyone happy. And I think that that is another way of saying that the filibuster serves its purpose, like it did in the previous card. It, there was there's an element of it being changed but that it still has to remain because it serves a purpose to the democrats as well and it can't be abolished entirely it needs to be modified so that it can't be misused and that's what what the cards are saying that's the same thing i got in the full reading but it the way that it was described in the previous spread was um sort of like it's all part of the big plan but not the big plan by democrats like the universe's big plan in this spread it's more about the fact that it's going to be resolved and not everyone is going to like the way that it's resolved it's going to be resolved in a mediocre way which means basically half, half resolved but in a way that actually helps to push things through so something is going to change there so let's take a look at the next one So Frida has asked, will Fox News and other right-wing media be held accountable for their lies? Rupert Murdoch, what will happen? It is one thing to disagree with someone, but another to lie. Yeah, actually, um, I had a really weird dream about um, this misinformation machine, but it's not, it was so itty-bitty, it was really hard for me to even describe it enough to tell you guys all about it but i did get a sense that um something is coming um and also i did a reading on facebook about a year ago and that reading it's still on, it's still somewhere on my list that reading said that in about a year there was going to be some turmoil for facebook that actually begins to de degenerate the platform um it puts it on a uh, has a snowball effect and this could be what we're currently seeing because if the president of the united states starts saying that facebook is killing people that's because he feels confident he's not a man who speaks without thinking it means that he feels confident that he can say that and that somehow down the line he'll be proven right or that it will not be held against him like he's not a stupid man he doesn't just throw words out there 
And so I think that that's a bit of a clue. But as soon as I saw that, I remembered the reading from about a year ago that something is going to change in Facebook. It could be Mark Zuckerberg. May be found um, unfit to lead an organization that has such a big uh, and vast uh, degree of responsibility. I don't know. I mean, he's not really a man who um, who's had a lot of life experience. He's sort of gone from being a student to the head of Facebook and that's it. Um, so we're not talking specifically about Facebook. We're talking about the misinformation machines or forums, entities that allow it or that propagate it. Will they be held accountable? A voice in my head just said, yes, they will be. In fact, I really don't think Facebook, I don't think, not, it's not Facebook, I don't think that Fox News is going to be around for, in its current form for a long, long time. No, I really don't. Let's have a look here. Okay, so the Empress in Reverse, the Hanged Man, and the Moon. This is um, a suffocating, barren wilderness element. So this is all about... A real lack of fertility, um, futility as well. The hanged man is all about um, not getting your desired result, being blocked or held back and prevented from achieving your uh, sort of goals. Secrets, anxieties and also um, ulterior motives appear in this card as well. I think that um, the answer to the question is... There may be some delays. But there's also... Um, these entities are not going to prosper. They're, the entities are not going to prosper continuously. Instead, there might be a delay in the outcome. But even they have anxieties now. And I, I see evidence of that. I see evidence when you go on to Fox News, they have lots of disclaimers at the moment. It's because they're in so many court cases. They're trying to pre prevent themselves from being subject to another one. They're getting tied up in knots and that's causing um, these entities some anxiety. It's very hard for them to, to continue on as they are in their current, in their current way because the accountability is already in progress. They're already starting to become accountable. And I think that's the answer to the question, is they're not going to be able to run and be fertile um, for much longer. There's, it's a process and there's delays with the hanged man, but their time is coming. I think that this world war, hmm, I'm trying not to inject myself into this, but I feel pretty strongly that there won't be. But let's just see what the cards have to say. Oops, I've had a card jump out. Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is an experimenting, testing, uh, emotion, um, sorry, restless kind of energy. Um, and it's also about a rapid message coming soon. I'm going to put that down as the first card. Second card we've got yeah, is the Eight of Wands in reverse. And then the third card is the Five of Swords. And this is a message, this is a message reading. Okay, so this is the message. Um, and the restless testing, experimenting energy is, is related to that anx anxious need for answers to questions that sometimes uh, have already universally been answered, if that 
makes any sense sort of creating questions where where there's a void to fill a void we then also have this um, unexpected turn of events element and then we have um, funeral and mourning and right okay so basically this is a message response to the person who asked the question or to those who ask this kind of question and that is that um, there will always be difficult events oops but the response to that question would always be that of funeral mourning and regret it's it is basically that the message is that a world war is understood by everyone to be unwinnable everyone knows that there's nothing behind that door except oh, the wrong one sorry there's nothing behind that door apart from regret and death and mourning and so as difficult and as um, circumstances become it's always going to end the same way and so there's no mystery as to whether or not a person can win or lose in a world war everybody loses and there's a recognition that the question was asked because of that restlessness that need to fill um, not necessarily the person who asked the question it's about the chatter about world wars is a way to fill a void and take the anxiety to the next level I think that it's the cards sort of saying um, these things are it's these things are not things that need to be answered because of the fact that the answer is universal already and that is that there there's no such thing as a world war because once the world engages in war it's over so there's no world war if that makes any sense it's sort of a strange a strange way of putting it but um, the moment it begins it ends so um, that is the answer to the question so what's the next one Yep, let's have a look at Jean Car Jean Carroll. I can't recall who Summer Zervos is. I'll have to look that one up. E. Jean Carroll. three of wands the six of cups in reverse and the five of swords so um, the three of wands is an entrepreneurial card this is about um, a person who's enterprising we have here being stuck in the past and also dealing with childish issues as well or, or dealing with a child and then we've got um, conflict um, with the five of swords which is about tension and, and, and bullying so with E. Jean Carroll she's this is not an uphill battle of hers this is a real fight but she's an enterprising person I don't know I think she's had um, she's had uh, a couple of knockbacks in the courts oh yes of course I think it was the Department of Justice is trying to um, is still trying to defend Donald by having the the case transferred to E. Jean Carroll versus the United States or something like that because it was in his capacity as president I think that it could be this is what the card represents Or it could be her enterprising lawyers that actually get around it somehow but there's something that entrepreneurial and enterprising that's taking place with regards to E. Jean Carroll this uh, being stuck in the past and this bloody battle here uh, would indicate that it's not over so there's more to it that's going to um, evolve in that case Summer Zervos um, 
Let me just quickly look that up. I think some of Zerbos, isn't she one of the women who claimed um, sexual misconduct or something? Summer. Okay, so she's another person who claimed sexual misconduct by Donald. Let's see about her cards. I don't know anything about Summer Zervos at all. I think maybe she's blonde. I'm just trying to get an image of her. I don't actually know anything about her. I've heard the name, but that's all I that's all I know. Queen of Wands in reverse, the Sun in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. I think that uh, in the Summer Zervos case, this mediocre enlightenment and... Um, okay, so this is, this is a person who's been portrayed as being... Um, tainted in some way so um like the, the counter accusations have i don't know whether there have been counter accusations made about her about her character or the fact that she's very promiscuous or um or that she has infected the airways with false accusations and things like that there's allegations here about her i'm not saying that they're true i'm saying that that's that's those are the allegations And the sun in reverse is about a um, mediocre enlightenment. So about things not, not going quite to plan, having some kind of satisfaction or success or enlightenment, but, but not particularly satisfying in that way. And then the two of pentacles in reverse has um, elements of money shortage and... I think that um, in this particular case, Summer has had, she's had to deal with so much. She's had slander against her. She's had um, endless kind of attention that didn't quite satisfy the, um, the outcome, didn't quite provide the outcomes that she was looking for. And also there's money issues there. I think that her particular case is a dead end. So... E. Jean Carroll, there seems to be more to it than that. There's more coming. Summer Zervos, it looks as though that's not going any further. Apart from being known for the allegations and having some people believe her and other people ha haven't. And um, But it's, it's as though that particular, t that particular person, the story has, has almost ended. Um, Maybe she has been overwhelmed. I mean, the two of pentacles in reverse can also be about feeling overwhelmed by everything that's taken place. So maybe she's stepped back and she's allowing others to move the case forward. And then Ghislaine Maxwell, um, she requires a full reading. I've done one on her recently. I've done a few on her, actually. And I think that her life um, has changed forever. In fact, um, I don't think, I think that what the cards indicated was that um, beyond her time in prison, there's nothing beyond her time in prison. That's all there is. So um, once she's out of, once she's no longer in prison, she's no longer full stop is basically what we got in that. Actually, you know what, let me just double check that. That is basically what the reading was. The full reading I got was that it's going to end. Her current circumstances are her final circumstances. And that there's nothing more after that. But let's just see if anything's changed. Ghislaine Maxwell. So the star in reverse. The queen of wands. And the seven of swords. Okay. Disappointment, disillusionment. This is a, a person who inspires others to act and having gotten away, uh, tried to get away 
with something self-like. Um, so I don't think much has changed. She's um, been recognized for what she is. So, so she has sort of been an enabler who's trying to get away with things. Her lawyers are trying to get away with things, but she's destined to a disappointment. I don't think much has changed for her at the moment. Okay, so let's take a look at that question. How will the virus evolve around the world? And how should we prepare for what's coming next? So the Two of Cups, the Two of Wands in Reverse, and the Knight of Cups. So the Two of Cups is about attraction, attraction, commitment, and love. And this is about a commitment between more than one. Um, in the news at the moment, there's um, talk of whether or not China should be investigated further and whether um, there's a possibility that the virus could have been as a result of some mishandling um, in its labs. Um, now, I know that this was an accusation that was made by Donald um, that the Democrats or most sensible people really just took for granted that he was talking out of his bottom. Well, he probably was talking out of his bottom, but even... A broken clock is right twice a day. And I think that um, it could be an element of that. There needs to be, there's something about a, a unity between nations, I think, taking place. We then have an unexpected turn of events. And we have the, the deceitful lover. What I think um, the message is, is that um, China may have been found in the future. I don't know. I don't like to make those sorts of um, predictions without being certain. But there does seem to be something in it that um, China has been hiding and that... And that unexpectedly, um, there's going to be re revelations coming up in the future with regards to that. Now, whether or not that is going to help or hinder, I don't know. Let's just see if we can do another reading on this. Asking about... Just the the state of affairs for the world when it comes to COVID. And um, how is this going to turn out? Okay, the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. And the world okay so we've got the balancing of time and resources this is predominantly the balancing of resources we then have building a foundation um, between nations so it looks as though this is heading somewhere positive and then we have this um, the pause before the next step which is the 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 completion of the previous task as well. I think that this is a really good sign. When it comes to COVID, that it's about um, the balancing of the resources. The countries that have and have not need to, there needs to be equity. And I think that, that the world is working on this at the moment. The, the, the nations uh, that are prosperous are trying to lend a hand. But of course, you know, it's like that oxygen mask. You need to have your own mask on first before you can um, help others. And um, 
but that is what's taking place at the moment and it's going to continue it's to build a foundation here which will eventually bring it to its completion i think that covid ha its days are numbered i'm not saying that it won't be here in a year but it's going to be like the other big um, diseases like polio and like influenza and like all the things that um, the world has been devastated by and then ultimately conquered and I think it's going to be the same well I did a full reading on him um, not that long ago and the answer was that he was going to step down or step away or lose either be pushed out or lose his um, goal of being speaker or step down or something but that he was actually going to not get what he wanted which um, or not remain in the position that he was in that was the outcome of the reading Let's see if anything's changed. This um, Six of Cups in Reverse is coming up a lot, being stuck in the past. Oh, and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, okay. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, so he's not, he's not going to be a happy camper. He's stuck in the past and that doesn't mean that he doesn't want to venture into the future. It means that everything is riding on that moment in the past on January 6. He's trapped. And there he is. He's trapped in his gilded cage. And what looks forward for him is that of disappointment, a disappointment, loss and hurt. So he's going to lose the ambitions and aspirations that he has been um, aiming for. Um, because of that single moment in the past he's just it, he's imprisoned by it he's trapped by it and so the answer is yes he's um he's not going to be all that he was expecting to be okay so so far I've gotten through uh, some of your questions gosh I've still got three pages to go <laughs> But I'll get it done. Thank you so much for watching. I love knowing you're here and I'll see you in my dreams. Bye.